like garbage. Other than that, how's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty dandy. Um, brain is slightly melty. But that's just because today has been a bitch. Um. Who oh boy, I wish I could check the sound right now. Just gonna let like a minute and a half pass. So that I can start the shit. <clears throat> Mix some cornstarch and warm water and pour it in my ear. That's not what I mean. It will help thicken up my brain. I don't need it thickened. Anyways, I have one person. That means I can start safely. Wait, that button. That button. Hey, hi Cherry. We got video game. I forced it to be on a blank menu so that the sound of an alarm would not blare your ears out while I am talking. I'm already bad enough. Oh, also, don't worry about Dishonored 2. Dishonored 2 is still coming. I'm just gonna... That game asks a lot of my brain. And I feel like it is best to run two games. Appreciate Twitch giving me a notification that you're live a full minute after I've tuned in. Oh, I've had that before. That shit Good sucks. Morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated I... train is provided for the How sound? And convenience. I can always the make Mesa it quieter. The time is 8.47 a.m. Sounds good, no issue here. That, Current time that's good shit. The temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Uh, real talk, running Friday helps bring folk in. That's true. I just... I prefer to do LPs, which also means I prefer to do them one at a time. Because I found that if I do that as my full schedule, I, um... Who oh boy. Um, I just get weirdly burnt out doing that all the time. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high this security is goddamn area beautiful. Beyond, sector C. Like for a fan so remake, holy to the shit. Hub in area nine. Board a high security train. Like, it ain't Half-Life 1, but it works for my purposes. You must report to Black Mesa Shit, my password. Before you will be permitted into the high That's the one. That's the, the one right system. now. Does it have Zen? Yes, it's had Zen for give or take a year now. That's actually what I was waiting on, personally. 
is Zen as bad as Half-Life 1? No. According to everyone, no. But it runs very long in comparison. But it actually makes Zen fun. Shit, it makes this look great. Like, I usually skip this part of Half-Life 1 just because it's like, oh, I've seen it a million times. I don't need to do it. Like, that's what... That's what convinced me right here that it's like, oh, this is cool. This is super detailed. Oh, that's what happens when you jump on this train. You just get flung back. You get flung slightly farther back if you do a crouch jump. I was actually going to play Half-Life 1 on the channel instead of Black Mesa at some point, because I really just wanted to play Half-Life 1 eventually. Uh... Gordon is practicing theoretical physics by jumping on a tramp. But I decided against that, because I don't want to play old Zen. Just plain and simple. I don't want to play what Zen used to be. Look at that fucking laser! My PC was crying trying to run this at one point. Like, this is amazing. I don't even think I'm playing on Ultra. Fuck, I know this is gonna slow this down to a crawl, but I have to know. What settings am I playing this on? Uh, High Ultra. Now there is a chance, there is a chance that I might have to turn that down when we get to Zen. I have been told that it is a hard, that it is a PC killer, but that was when Zen started. I don't know if it's been optimized since. Look at that shit! Look at that shit! Oh, they never bring that back, but it always looks so cool. It's just a big ant! Fucking ant. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa research facility. Catch me cooking my food even because I didn't center my cast iron on the burner. Or radiation mm. checkup is grounds for immediate termination. Big ant! If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazards. Big fucking ant! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, why is no one in that seat? I guess it's automated. Whatever.
Oh no! <laughs> Alright. Stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. <sighs> Before exiting the train, be Hello, sure to check God. your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. I know every once in a while this takes forever. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Howdy. Looks like you're running late. Train ride didn't help. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Do tell. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Damn, fucker owes me a beer. No, that's not Barney. That's Barry. Oh, you deserve to be thrown in a pit and hung. There, that is a specific manager phrase that I've heard so many times that I want to commit violence when I hear it. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Don't worry about it, Bart. It's one of those days, I guess. They also have Get away from there, Freeman. I'm Look at that. An important message. Look at that. Gordon, don't, don't sure touch that. Down there as soon as you've gotten your hatchet suit. Go use another computer. I'm not one for hands off, Buster. <laughs> I'm expecting a message any minute. Not now, Gordon. Doctor Wells, report to super cooled laser lab, please. Hey, it's happening. Cut it out. Proverbial thinker. My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this wire on or something? Come on, Gordon. Don't worry about it. Yep. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the Howdy. Protection system seems to be online now. Those oh. TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. No. Hard to find good help no. these days. Oh, would you look at that? Freeman, oh, la di da, Mr. Blue Suit. What? Like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. Fuck are you gonna? Get? Oh, fuck yourself, too. Stop laughing. Fucking blue ass dress shirt. Ridiculous ass tie. You okay? Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. What? No. Oh whoa. Get on PC, be right back. Don't worry about it. I arrive when I arrive. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? Hmm. Give me some space, Freeman. Hmm. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You oh, know no. I can't let you through here. You can and you will. One day. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Ah, I can't <laughs> stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated air socks are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now 
Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Oh. I know I'm taking this a little slow, but I know Black Mesa added some shit. Welcome back, Cherry. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. No exceptions. Not even for you. Oh, Damn right it. There, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit. Wait, what? No, that's a separate... Well, that is a hell of a fucking sound. God, I fucking love the look of Black Mesa. Morning, champ. Morning. Hello? Soda. That's my used tutorial. <laughs> what the hell? Particle accelerators. <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never Can't hurt. The end of this. Eh. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Looks useful. Uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. You know who knows where to find me. Barry! <laughs> Real mature, Gordon. Fuck yourself. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Rat. No toilet paper. Let me take care of that for you, bud. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. I'm already as late as I can get. Wow, cannot disgrace the family photo. Destiny appearance changes made my care. I'm glad that there were appearance changes to Destiny. Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 protective system. They updated the character models. That's good. That's good. Oh. Oh, Gordon's only a little freer. Er, little freer. A little taller than me. Only a little bit, though. Right on through, sir. Damn right. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Oh, if you think the music fucks, like you're gonna, like you are going to lose your shit when you see the resonance cascade. Do 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 do. No. Should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure it's control. What's up, Doc? How is the debugging procedure coming along? Ooh. Sorry about that. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Oh, we fuck yourself. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I get it to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. The fact that I don't have clearance for the fucking thing 
where Eli has been I making last minute preparations for the new Thank experiment. You. you aren't going soft on that ethics issue again, are you? What? Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last I appreciate changes. that they made these guys sound like actual They're scientists, so somewhere between just... taking their job seriously oh, and sounding like huge it's fucking about to nerds. Go critical. I mean, they they sounded much the same in what HL1. What in the is this going on with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. This is what my old PC looked like and performed it's like. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along. We'll be but a moment. Yeah, yeah, you'll do butt stuff before the test. Don't worry about it. I've got butt stuff to do with the test sample. By Beckerell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Mm. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is Gordon a rare is opportunity Gordon is a professional. He doesn't this need to hear this. This is the we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We will assure the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Nothing's yes. going wrong with these legs. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. God damn gorgeous. Ah. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Yep. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, All right. if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, Already. then we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. They actually have a button for using ladders. Surprised it's not just walk into it to use. Source has always had a mount button. Like, always. It, and it's always been E. It's not a death beam, it's a we'll science beam. Here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. God, just gorgeous. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Like, look at that shit. Amazing. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Though yeah, the difference the between a death ray and whatever this is is intent, can. let's be real. Meaning Overhead it's not a death ray. Oh, I want to uh, walk into that it's so probably bad. Not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Fuck it. <laughs> I found quick save. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to I already made it a death ray. For your specimen. Also, of course you can make it a death ray. You're German. Y'all know a thing or two about bullshit science. Did I die from the death ray or clipping through the floor and hitting a kill plane? Hitting the kill- um, hitting the laser, specifically. 
Like, I've jumped into it and gotten killed. Now, it is a kill plane by design. It's just a very thin upwards one as well. Also, by the way, this is the part that crashed my PC. Like, my old PC just could not handle this. I love it. Oh shit. Right, there's real ass human dismemberment in this. I'm actually gonna... I'm having a hard time hearing just... Maybe it's the music that I can just... Yeah, that's barely different. Well, none of that fake-ass dismemberment is in, like, Top's other Source games have, like, jibbing. I mean what I said. Thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't oh. reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of Oh, I'll of fight to the death with you on that. My God. What Trust me done? on that. We can't afford to waste time. Need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. I, I doubt Keep it. Keep that suit on until you get the clear. You hear me? What an interesting interior. I wonder. Jesus Christ. Uh, actually, can I have something? Can you please stop threateningly waddling at me? I didn't need to crouch jump, what the fuck? Let's call an elevator. Oh. Well. That's what happens when you owe me money. Man, am I 
glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? Dad? Why are they wearing science team uniforms? I don't know. Hey, can go, you? Go, go. Don't get near you. Can you please? One down and no if I know them. So that is one perk of Black Mesa in comparison to Half-Life 1. The Barneys can actually fucking shoot. Behind you! Oh, can I? I can. My bad. Can you? Woo! I'm secretly just hoping. I am secretly hoping that um. Woo! That he gets boinked by something. Come on. I think I just got a promotion. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Let me get out of the way, Doc. Damn it. This shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. Be careful in there, Doc. I keep expecting these to explode so much. I'm unfamiliar with Black Mesa. Is it just an updated version of Half-Life 1? It's a full-on fan-made remake that costs $20. Uh, it... Aside from just looking much prettier, in my opinion, actually kind of looking like an HD texture pack with a nice CNB. Um. Okay, grab what you gotta grab. It has a completely retooled version of Zen because the original developers behind this looked at Zen original and went, well, we want people to actually enjoy this game. I gave you some toilet paper. Man, this is what happens when you don't wash your ass fast enough. Communication. Exchanging ideas is a way to progress. Oh shit. Is he going to try to shoot the head crab? He doesn't like it. <gasps> Can I? Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Yes, you take care of them. I, Brave Leader Gordo, will find us a way out. Stop! Don't you know there's a wet floor? Hey, Ow! Did you hear something? Fucker! Man, did you see that shot? Yeah, I threw the trash can at him so hard. On today's episode of Black Mesa, introducing Barney, as played by Bruce Willis. About as good as a shot. No hard feelings, right? Okay, I'm gonna try to call for help. 
Yeah, all right. Ow. So this is another update to Black Mesa. The crow par is a lot faster. Also, there are actual run animations, which in a source game feels weird. I ain't scared of you! Oh. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Don't worry. Thanks for the assist. Ah. Well, no need to call them mole-eyed freaks. Woo! No, I don't see why we gotta be mean to the aliens. I just gotta make them know that there is a dominant species on this planet already. And how one of them can take so many of them. Oh. Oh. Well. You know what? You got me there. Oh, I forgot about that crowbar toss animation. Don't... Oh, this game is definitely, like... Whatever your definition of slick is, I would agree to all of them to compare Black Mesa to Half-Life 1. Oh. Oh. Can I actually see what's up there? Nah. Motherfucker. Even got a Glock with the shitty use sights. Yeah. Actually, to my knowledge. There's... Findings. Combat. Suit zoom. It's only until... Uh, Oh, I can fix that here. Edit binding, F5, edit binding, F6. Um, but it takes until blue shift to actually get a decent looking pistol and blue shift was not remade, although the uh, developers to Black Mesa when if Black Mesa sells well we will see what we can do about remaking Blue Shift and Posing Force. 
which like that would be great because that means I don't have to go back to Half-Life 1 ever. A game I love, but who boy, I have tapped the fuck out of its content for me. I was also low-key waiting for the point in which Glocks were insulted in the stream, because I wasn't going to start. Mostly because I wanted to see who would. Oh, How you feeling? Thank God. Oh, I knew Listen, it was going to be you, but I, I was waiting. We find some more weaponry. Oh, look at your There's butt, Jen. Not far from here. Huh? Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Okay. Time to go? I was thinking the same. Where are we going, bud? Another one of those things! Woo! Do you have a death wish, butt chin? I mean, you should. You have a butt chin. Uh, they'd have to talk to Gearbox about opposing force. I don't know. Safe haven. Also, they would have to talk to Gearbox about blue shift too. But um, at any rate, there is. There is one thing in which I think is the, um, absolute, how do I put it, the thing that convinces me that we actually have a realistic chance of seeing Blue Shift in Op Force is that Gearbox doesn't like working with Valve. Gearbox has never actually worked with Crowbar Collective, which is a separate dev team entirely. Yeah, um, to my knowledge, and correct me if I'm wrong, Gearbox did, I think, every Half-Life expansion, including Half-Life Decay, which is a, um, it is a PS2-only uh, story for Half-Life 1. Can I? I can! Holy shit. Okay, I never thought about it like that. I do like that this has the auto fire that a Glock should have. But yeah, to my knowledge, the reason that Gearbox fucking hates working at Valve, note, speculation, I can't confirm it, um, is that Valve got the rights to Half-Life back and may or may not have fucked over Gearbox in the progress. Once more, as a great person said, Half-Life wants you to think like a theoretical physicist. I wonder who that great person is. Woo! Oh, oh dear. I do believe I have soiled myself. Huh. Also, when you say retail release, do you mean console release or just straight up, like, retail? With all due fairness to him, there is no, there was no confirmation that I was still around.
Come on. Just try and kill me. You can't. But you can sure try. Retail is in the stores. Okay. But yeah, um... To my knowledge, Gearbox did some fucky-wucky shit, and so did Sierra to debate the ownership of Half-Life. And Valve fin and Valve renegotiated the IP back. And Gearbox and Sierra were not happy with that news. And they don't play well together anymore. That is just what I heard. I've just heard it multiple times over the years. It does seem like a Randy Bitchford thing to do. At the same time, like... Yeah, Sierra basically doesn't exist. I think they're owned by someone else, but they haven't been, they didn't have a name. Randy is not that. He is an unfortunate man, but we've at least been able to confirm over the years, not a pedophile. I like to be, Mmm, you said something close. Uh huh. <coughs> but I. Huh. No. Lobar admittedly. Pedof er, pedophile or no, Randy Pitchford is many things, including a magician scam artist who fucked Sega out of money. That I can't confirm, but can reasonably assume. Also, they removed this skin, sadly. Oh, I know he did from Aliens Colonial Marines to make Borderlands. That was confirmed? Was that confirmed confirmed? Or is that... Is that confirmed confirmed with, like, court records and shit? Or is that reasonable speculation? Because I would love to say that Randy stole from Sega without even remotely caring about the consequences. Confirm confirmed with funding reports. See, that's the shit I wanted. Nah, Randy's a piece of shit. I can say that without getting sued. Although, if I get sued by Randy and call him a piece of shit, my lawyer can accord apparently say he is not literally a piece of shit. Which is such a weird thing, but I saw it in one court document and laughed my ass off. <coughs> because that was absolutely scraping the bottom of the barrel for... Defense. <laughs> this part also blue screen my PC. That was a recent court case. Um, I've seen it at least once. Also, I'm just gonna style on DSP. Bada bing, bada boom.
And that's without auto crouch jump on. Get fucked, DSP. <laughs> Did he ever beat any Valve game? How? How do you do it without crouch jumping? Did he just brute force it? Jesus Christ. Whoop! I, I'm not gonna go figure that one out. I'm not gonna watch DSP play Half-Life. Yeah, you can beat Dark Souls by brute forcing it. But that's like beating Dark Souls without rolling or blocking. Which, now that I say it, someone probably did that. Because they probably abused Harry's or something. You can absolutely beat Sekiro with brute force. Are you kidding me? I'm really close to beating it, and I've mostly brute forced it. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. How do you farm Half-Life 1? Like, no. How do you do that? Like, replay old chapters and just get a better run? Oh, farming Dark Souls. Okay. Okay. Now, I will say, I've never beaten a Dark Souls or Bloodborne game. I haven't played a Soulsborne game on stream to completion, but I have the trophy data with every single game in the series that I have at least beat them all once. Except Dark Souls Remastered and Demon Souls. I don't have the trophy data for those. Demon Souls I can say I did, but like, I'd rather have the trophy for it. Genichiro will tell you you cannot brute force this. Uh, Ishin is actually the point where I realize I can't brute force brute force it. But you can get there with like 90% brute force. many things. I am many things. When you think about my content. But at least I am 98% of the time not on the level of DSP. I want to be beef jerky. I want beef jerky. Oh, I'm over here. Beef- I can get beef jerky for real fucking cheap around here. Walmart sells that shit for really, really cheap. Which I actually say is a reasonable price. This is actually going by a lot faster than I thought it would. Like, I was even... going slow.
Oh hey, we get to the part where this game actually really picks up. Not where it gets good, but definitely where it really picks up. I love Office Complex. It makes me actually believe Black Mesa is a real place in the universe. God, fuck you, Mistus. Now I want beef jerky and I can't go up and get it. I could go this way all this time. I thought I was supposed to... Motherfucker, die! I was standing right Everybody's there. Heading for Give the me a surface, reason. But I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Uh-huh. Right? Have fun in the dark. Be right back, need to restart PC. Don't worry about it. It's a magazine. Listen to this nightmare house ass music. Motherfucker. I hope he wasn't a close Thanks. friend. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. Uh, here, let me get this open. I, uh, I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh, You mean, he used to have some supplies. Scary. All right, crown jewel of Half-Life 1. Ah. And that's why it's the crown jewel. Since you helped, I will spare. That's not how shotguns work. Fuck off. If you concentrate really hard while pulling the trigger, two shells will come out. I know I could use the flashlight, but really, I just want to hear the shotgun. Ah. This is the other part of the game where my PC likes to blue screen. I can actually highlight the moment exactly where it would happen. in case I need to run back or something. Oh? Do, do I need to go back or something?
Wait, hold on. Welcome back, Cherry. Let's actually see what was up. I don't know what this game wants me to do. Now that motherfucker. How do shotgun not work? Shotguns don't work like this. It does look cool, and it feels really cool, too. It is still never going to be as bad as, um... Shotguns don't fire from the feeding tube? Where do you see a feeding tube? I see two barrels now. Wink. Wink. I'll feed your tube. I, uh, I heard screams up ahead. Uh, you first. Yep. Bitch ass coward. God, they just went through the floor. That's beautiful. Immediately, just skin gone. Muscle layer gone. This. That moment specifically, I would see one Vortigon. I mean, Shambler. And then the game would, uh, blue screen my entire computer. Shamblagon. Yes. Or is it Shamblagant? I don't know. Oh, that's slick. You don't hear the foregrounds actually say their name in Half-Life 2? I... So... They don't. But they say shit like, um... The Vortessence. Which was their hive mind. I think Half-Life Alex actually says the word Vortigon because there's a friendly one. Huh. I... Oh. The humans also say Vortigon. Fair enough. But no, I, I don't remember them actually saying their name in Half-Life 2. They... I want a Half-Life 2 Episode 2. That would explain why I don't remember it. For that game being as important as it is to gaming history, and by that I mean, like, it's important in the way of, like, it's probably the most heavily anticipated... Or not heavily anticipated. What, what's the word I'm looking for? People are really excited for a follow-up that continues the narrative and doesn't recontextualize the narrative, I suppose, is what I'm looking for.
I actually want to know what is going on with Half-Life as a series, because now with Alex being a protagonist, like a full-on protagonist that you play, I want to know if it's going to continue to be that, or if Gordon's actually going to have a role. That is, if there is another game. Huh. I think they should just do a shadow release up. Alex is five years before the events of two. Episode one and two continue Gordon's story directly after each part of the story. Um. Well, I mean, in all fairness, um. Half Life Alex released with, like, one trailer. And after that, it was all left to the fans to be like, what does that mean? What do you mean, Half Life Alex? Like, I wouldn't even say that Alex had hype or fanfare. Because that would imply that they gave us time. The, the fanfare was saying, hey, it's coming out. Now, I also can't... I have to talk around Half-Life Alex because... You know... But just know that I am very interested to see where the story goes. Ooh. Come here. Yeah. There's one more of you, right? No? Huh. Oh, well. Look at this nice Nightmare House 2 bullshit. Have some weird random game come on Steam called like Goople Pops Legacy or whatever, and just it's just game on Steam, no screenshots, no trailers, nothing on gaming media. So there is a small problem with that. What are you still doing down here? Get topside. Okay. Ah, oh. there's a shotgun. Here's the thing, if Half-Life Episode 3, let's call it Episode 3, gets released and it's a shadow release, I will say, if that happens, it's not going to be because of... It's not going to be because it's going to be under something like Bob's Legacy. It's going to be, and hear me out, hardware. It's going to be bundled with hardware that you can't play it without. And they're going to hype up the hardware. And then they're going to be like, oh, and it comes with uh, they'll probably like call it a tech demo. Tech demo comes out, Half-Life 3. And you have to use the taste stick to play it. To solve taste puzzles. And, uh, Moose will be asked to review it for Gamerscape. They'll give him the, the taste stick, and he'll be like, what the fuck? Why would you give me the taste game? Yeah, you can only get it with some Intel thingy for, like, 500. But, like, let's use the taste stick as the example, because it's a weird off-the-wall thingy. I thought I'd be protected in here. You are. But someone will buy that thing. Someone will buy that thing. Fucking, if no one does, Linus will have one. 
I'm no comment. No comment. I'm actually... The thing behind the taste stick is that fucking picture that comes up every few months where it's this thing can recreate the taste of a thing in any image. And people will, like, post a picture of, like, their waifu or some shit. I was gonna say, does that mean that there's a valve that I can pick up? Can I just... Damn it. Okay, so that's permanent. I just turn it until I need it where it is. I can fix that. Where the fuck? Ah! Ah! There we are. Bump bump. Bump bump. Ah! All these Silent Hill flashlights. God damn. I didn't know that it was just one shotgun shell to kill a barnacle. It's because they look like barnacles of the sea. I really, really like the sound effects they used for the footsteps and the vents. Makes the game sound really fucking tense. Howdy. Good heavens, you gave me quite a scare. Don't count on the cavalry finding us down here, Doc. Oh, I wasn't. We gotta head for the surface. Yeah, that's this. <laughs> that was an accident. We can still fly. Why did they put the surface on fifty flights of goddamn stairs? Oh. Ah, like that. There's no way I can make that jump. 
Huh. I didn't, motherfucker. That means I'm playing babysitter. I'm better than you. I, I can't hold on much longer. Oh. We're going to go the other way. Wait, this is the way I was supposed to go? Oh! I guess the elevator's for- Oh shit! black and white and should be red all over. Not that, there's some blue on it. Ah. Tile flooring, that's, that's a good one. Okay, that's crouch length. Okay, that's one. Ah, get stone locked, fucker. God damn, pistol ammo. Wait, I'll st you you read tile flooring? Definitely remixed a little. Oh, God. Woo! Wrong tense of the phrase red. Shit, shit, shit. Oh no. Oh no. You know what, how about we just use grenades to solve some more problems. Look at all the red on the tile floors. Yeah, but those are like beige and sand. Are beige and sand black and white? I mean, probably.
I see some ellipses in chat. That means I've done my job. That'll work. Careful, don't cross the Well, that's taken care of. Motherfucking cowards. What happened? I'm going to stay here. And wait Be for my careful up ahead. Ah, cowards, the lot of ya. What? Cool story, Fed. Come down here, I'll show you what's under military command. So, this is why you don't trust the government. Really? Can't hit the lever and... Woo! Hey, alright. MP5 with a grenade launcher, despite the fact that I don't think there was a grenade launcher for the MP5, but fuck it, you can make one. So much better than the Half-Life 2 one. So you can actually attach a standard grenade launcher onto an MP5? Yeah, but there wasn't one, like, made for it. I was made with the idea of having a grenade launcher attached. Huh. That would explain a little bit of it. Seriously? Blob. Oh shit. HMS security. Hazardous materials? Maybe? Hmm. 
start fucking bolting. Maybe... Shit! But not my worst idea. Okay, so grenades... Or the... Claymores do work that way in this game. Yeah, that'll work. I just... Have to think. Oh no. There. Oh shit. Okay, that was out of reflex to crouch slide, but it shockingly worked. And that's the perks of being fast as fuck. God damn. Now where? Also, does this game just have infinite sprint? That's weird for Source. There's either no sprint or super limited sprint. I mean, I'm all for it. Just, huh. Oh, hey! Don't fist android girls. Whoop. Android thoroughly fisted. Well, how's the hand? Just to prove a point. wouldn't expect them to have a, what was it, radioactive team? You know, just, that's not something you think about, the military having it, having, but yeah, I guess they could. There's more. Whoa. 
cool boy there is. And a naughty fucker at that. And a liar. Oh! Okay, I may have blanked. What was the... Yeah, they have several? Oh, they have several teams like that. I mean, yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's just one of those things where... I don't think about it. I ain't in the military. <clears throat> Uranium inspection crews. This is some fucking Simon Vicklin shit. Alright, yeah, I'm down. Alright, this is probably gonna be a bit fucking loud. Oh shit. Let's just keep running. Look at all that shit. Amazing! Absolutely beautiful, unlike anything I've ever seen. I'm also prepared for the for any of these to just to just be like, oh, this gets claimed because of a weird fucking sample in a rap song. Why you shoot first? Oh, that's a Half-Life 2 asset. Foo boy. I've killed 12 dumbass scientists, and not one of them fought back. Sucks. Uh -huh. Much for the government. Yep. The idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Sounds about right. Judging by your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Is that right? Hey, now, I was just the cart pusher. Can end this catastrophe. It's the science team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell them how to get there. There's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever is left of the Lambda team. Good shit. You can trust all of us. I don't know, what if you ask something about a clip for a Glock? I shot him pretty fucking dead.
The faster this... Oh, shit! Blast pits... Before on a rail? Huh. Well, he's back. Damn, still got it. What's over here? Why are there fairies? Oh, that's why there's fairies. y'all are enjoying this game, by the way. This is something I've wanted to stream for a long while. I bought it last summer sta sale because I had, like, 80 bucks in Steam gift cards that were gifted to me be as a late birthday present. And, um... It was... It was that, it was Cold Fear, uh, shitload of other games. I know Vermintide 2 is on that list, but Vermintide 2 is also a gift for Cherry. There's a shitload. Woo! Uh, what happened there? I'm gonna give that a few seconds. If that happens again, we'll just... We'll figure it out. Oh, we dropped to like zero for a few seconds. That's why I hate our local cable company. That happens more often than I'd like to admit. That's one of the things with stream where it's like no way around that. It might have been Twitch. But, like, if I can throw shade at Buckeye Cable, I will. Because they don't deserve a penny of the service they offer. As, uh, they barely offer a service in the first place. I'd probably be better off with a 60k modem. I'm gonna have to fling myself better. I can feel it. But if it if it was Twitch, it was Twitch. But like I'm used to having to deal with nothing working as intended. Let's start here. Damn it! Hazardous radiation levels detected. 
It just hit me that that's not even close to what I'm supposed to do. Oh no. Hey. All right. Let's keep fucking going. Oh, in fact, it isn't. Uh, let me check. Nope. Do lab is a failure. Oh. This is where the Dub the Dew contest was held. What would you guys dub this flavor of Dew? No, no, this is like a supercharged do. Like, kind of like that. It causes damage to your external organs. It also gives you external organs. Yeah, that is the regular Mountain Dew, huh? I'm very good at that. Oh, that's amazing looking. That's just how it looked in fucking Half-Life 1. Yo! That's just an... That feels like it's almost an up a model or texture with like a slightly updated model. Quiet. This thing hears us. Cool. The scientists snuck down to the gym to get the rocket up. We're gonna try to make a break for the fuel rockets. You with us? Yeah.
God, the fucking sounds of the tentacle doing its thing are just horrific. Oh, don't think I'm giving you special treatment of living. Nah. Also, I think we got satchel charges. Satchel charges earlier than uh, original HL1. that this just works. What? Where the fuck? Okay. Motherfucker. I wanna try it again? tired from work and other things gonna head out now good stream though don't worry about it have a good have a good rest i hope that you can make the next one uh sorry for this being a little later than usual uh cherry was running late and i was already outside Hey, Cherry, are you still there? I just wanna... I just wanna confirm some things, because I'm gonna be real, I was not in a great state when I was talking. Damn it! having to unfuck some things. Uh, Monster Hunter World demo tomorrow, right? Like, that's the plan? Did I say world? Like... Because if I did, who boy? I did say a world. Uh, we'll have to do it before 8 my time, though. Got a game at 6. So... I do gotta ask then. Do you want to do it at your normal time? Because I can easily just... Since it would be a co-op stream anyway, and you ran yourself a little ragged today.
All right. That sounds Power like tomorrow system. then. Please report status. Got the voice of the military over the radio is actually kind of threatening. Wouldn't it be fucking cool if they got the SWAT guys from Nightmare House to do the to do the military in this? I don't want to replay Nightmare House, like, on my own time. I don't think there would be much to, like, show off if I streamed it again. Other than me saying, oh, this is a good-ass mod, I'd like to do this again. Ooh, that is a sound that made me think my game crashed because I looked down at chat for a second. Fucking not today, fucko. Prop lab. Whoop. Oh no. Crossing my fingers on this one. Fucking frame rate has just held up real nice. Oh god. Not dead, not dead, just asleep. Reload. Kinda sad that he doesn't do the slap. Bye. Stop. God damn it. Fucking finger on the trigger, just ready. Is this? Yes, I do believe it is. I don't take any fucking chances. Thought so. I hope no one expects me to go start the generator. Fine, I'll do it, you little... Smithers never came back. Oh. Jesus. Having recently... Re 
played Half-Life 1 at least twice because I went to, uh, I went to play it with Source as well to just be like, how bad is Source anyways? Uh, it's bad. If, if you didn't already know, Half-Life Source, bad. At least the Steam Pipe version is. I've been told and I have seen that it's actually not as busted originally, but the copy that got uploaded to Steam was just bad. do now. There we are. Or can I? Huh. Is there something I'm, oh, I'm an idiot. That's what I'm missing. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, that line is way later in the original. Dude is hiding out on top of. He's hiding out on top of a rocket and goes, "This is my hiding spot." I'm actually really glad that they updated where that happens, because that made no sense in the original. Anyways, about that generator. Someone. We'll have the engine up again in no time. Mm. Oh, it's so tempting. God, this view model for the shotgun is just beautiful. I wasn't ready for this song. Note, I turned this to low. Music apparently gets louder with this game. I'm not a fan of that. Which sucks, because the music is banging, but, like, the fact that I have to yell over it... Oh, let's see what this looks like in Source. Oh! 
That's amazing. That looked great. <laughs> well, I guess it's true. If it bleeds, you can kill it. Yeah. What is it, girl? That was a really pitiful meow. What? I know, it's late. I'll probably... Ooh. Oh, look at that revolver that doesn't look fucking scuffed. Hi, Yuffie. I mean, it looks weird, but it's not... It's not the Half-Life 1 revolver. Let's put it that way. Oh, right. So this is one of the areas I'm curious how they remixed it, because I don't know. They certainly made it a lot prettier. What's a little radiation to a scientist? Except genius juice. I let it get to my head. Major fracture detected. Oh, I can aim down the sights with this. I missed that tooltip entirely. Nothing, but I'll feel better. until the next because this is a short stream but it's it's a short stream but it's also running late uh we'll just get to the next chapter card and we'll see what's up Because I'm pretty sure we're at the end of Blast Pit. Yeah, power up. 
All right. That's for today. Black Mesa. Let's just make sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you guys enjoy that? I had fun. Um, it was nice to just be able to play a game without worrying about, like, oh god, is it gonna crash? Shit like that. Um, I had fun, though. Just, like, in general... Like, let's take the idea of anxiety away. That was a blast for me. Uh, I'm probably going to continue that. Well, I'm definitely going to continue that. But I'm also going to continue Dishonored 2. Uh, the last time I played it, I was a little I was a little brought down. Because I wasn't used to the game yet. But, you know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um... So, tomorrow the plan is, not what's going to happen for sure, but the plan is to do the Monster Hunter Rise demo tomorrow when it comes out. Um, which, Cherry, you're going to have to tell me when it's live. Uh, I recently bought Switch Online so I could play another game. I can't actually remember now which game that was, because it was either Animal Crossing or Tetris. Um, so I can actually play Switch games online. No, I won't do Smash, because my Joy-Cons are drifting, and it makes attacking feel bad. I need that GameCube adapter. It's already out? Oh, I can preload that right now, then. Or I can load that now. Oh, uh, shit, they did say it would come out on the 11th. I thought it was the 10th all day. And now it's gonna be the 12th in two minutes. For me. Uh... Even if you don't have Switch Online, I th think you should be able to afford it. Just remember to turn off Auto Renewal when you do. Um, thinking, but yeah, no, that's that's the stream for the night. So outro time. If you enjoyed all that and want to support the channel. There are links below wherever you're watching this to a bunch of things, but also including the Streamlabs donation link and the community Discord. Uh, if you're on Twitch, there's obviously bits and subs as well. Um, ooh, brain melted. I mean, obviously don't feel pressured to donate if you can't, but... It keeps me fed. I was going to say it keeps the lights on, but no, other people do that. Keeps me fed. And also keeps games coming in. Um, I don't got much of anything else, though. Expect Monster Hunter World tomorrow. Or Rise. I'm going to have that brain worm all day. Uh, yeah, that's everything. So have a good rest of your night.